Let's just start, first of all, um, you know, your life was travelling along normal. Um, what, what made you actually realise that oh, was there a particular incident? Yeah, there's a couple of functions that, um, you know, I went to with my wife and, uh, and uh, you know, all of a sudden I'd say, you know, what are you, what are you doing with uh, the bottle of wine in your hand or something like that? And she just said, we just went to the, the bottle and we just bought it. And I thought, God, I can't remember that, you know, and there was a few incidents like that coming up. Um, a little bit too regular for me, so um, my first thing was, well, let's go and get it checked out. And I, um, I went down to, uh, you know, obviously to see the doctor, and uh, he, um, you know, he, he, he come up, he, he took me in and, and took the scans or whatever and, and showed me, and he said, look, these few dots here, he said, they could be concussions, because you've talked to me about concussions. And I said, oh, well, that's how good's that? We only got only that. Then he said to me, but unfortunately, this is all dementia down through here. And uh, that knocked me over. I just, I can't remember any more of the conversation that day. It was just, uh, you know, um, went out to the car, went home, went upstairs, walked into my wife and she said, how'd you get on? And I said, I got dementia and I, I just lost it, you know, and, uh, and, you know, after that, I thought, well, what can I do a bit positive that can be good for it, you know? So, uh, so straight away, um, you know, I was doing a lot of walk through COVID. So I thought, well, maybe a good long walk from Goolagong, you know, from my little town of Goolagong, 150 people, Main Street Goolagong, of course, and, uh, and finish up here on a, a game day where, you know, all the Laurel Penrith fans are at Blue Bet Stadium. I thought, how, how good a opportunity would that be to make um, some serious money uh, for dementia. We talk about the serious money, it's, it's also really positive. You are a Penrith legend, everybody loves you and, and this is obviously, um, it's been a bit of a shock to everybody, but to be able to use your position in the community to do this, it must feel very empowering. Yeah, it, 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 like, it's strange when you're first told that you, you've got a sickness, it bowls you over because you know I think you know I'm I'm a footballer you know and I'm healthy and I'm fit and I'm, even though I've been retired 30 years you know these sort of things don't happen to me well yes they do happen to you so so straight away I thought well you know let's do something positive and 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 during the walk I hope to bring a lot of uh, um, recognised faces you know old teammates and uh, various um, good sports people from around Australia. Um, and, and just to walk with them and share all their feelings and all that can only be good for, for my health. Did this make you kind of um, sort of stop and, and reevaluate life? Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was lucky enough to come down to Penrith and get graded. Um, you know, I, I was lucky enough to become Penrith's, for, you know, captain. I was lucky enough to become Penrith's first Australian representative. And I was a part of the 91 grand final side. So yeah, rugby league's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm just looking really forward to the challenge of, of raising a lot of money, you know, and, and the support of uh, the, the people around in this, this great club. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that opportunity.